Lately, your trips to the toilet haven't exactly been pleasant. You're sore, you're straining, and you're blocked up. And now, to make matters worse, you've attracted a new bothersome friend who keeps popping into your life and irritating you. Yep, you guessed it. Your new friend is most commonly known as hemorrhoids. And they're a real pain in the bum. Hello and welcome to MedTouch, the best place to find the right medical information. Let's be real, hemorrhoids are a real pain in the butt, and we're not just talking metaphorically here. If you've ever experienced hemorrhoids before, you know all too well just how unpleasant they are. They itch, they bleed, and they make your trips to the bathroom almost unbearable. Hemorrhoids also known as piles, are clusters of swollen veins that can develop either inside of the rectum, known as internal hemorrhoids, or outside the rectum, known as external hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are extremely common. In fact, almost half of the world's population will experience hemorrhoids at least once in their lifetime. Rest assured, however, hemorrhoids are both treatable and preventable. That's why in today's video, we're sharing eight simple and effective tips to rectify your rectum issues and prevent the problem from turning into a pile of worries. Tip one, don't strain during bowel movements. When you strain or hold your breath during bowel movements, you put unnecessary pressure on the veins in your lower rectum. In turn, this pressure causes veins to swell and, as you know, swollen veins result in the formation of hemorrhoids. If you're unable to relieve yourself within a few minutes of needing to go, it's best to leave the toilet and try again later. If you're straining due to constipation, seek advice from your healthcare professional. Constipation can greatly increase your risk of developing hemorrhoids, so it's important to get on top of the problem as soon as possible. Tip 2. Drink plenty of water. If you're searching for a simple, safe, and effective way to prevent hemorrhoids, then grab yourself a tall glass of water. Not drinking enough water causes our bodies to become dehydrated, and when we're dehydrated, we're more likely to become constipated due to a lack of water in our intestines. When we're constipated, tools become hard and difficult to pass, which causes us to strain when we go to the toilet. And as you know, straining during bowel movements causes the veins in our rectum to become swollen, resulting in the formation or worsening of hemorrhoids. So how much water should you be drinking? Well, this will depend on your individual needs, but generally you should aim for at least eight glasses of water a day. So if you haven't already, here's your reminder to go grab yourself a glass of water and stay hydrated. Tip 3. Increase your fibre intake. Dietary fibre is a natural and effective way to prevent and treat hemorrhoids. Fibre helps to keep water inside your intestines, which makes stools softer and easier to pass. It also prevents constipation by keeping your bowel movements regular. The recommended dietary fibre intake for the average person is approximately 20 to 30 grams of fibre per day. To achieve this, try to incorporate more fibre-rich foods into your diet, such as legumes, whole grains, and fresh fruits and vegetables. If you're having trouble getting enough fibre into your diet, consider trying over-the-counter supplements. When increasing your fibre intake, be sure to drink plenty of water. Fibre draws water into your bowels in order to be digested, so not drinking enough water can result in unwanted constipation and painful hemorrhoids. Tip 4. Eat healthier foods. As the saying goes, you are what you eat. So, in order to prevent and effectively manage hemorrhoids, it may be time to reassess your diet. Try eating more fiber-rich, nutrient-dense foods such as beans, lentils, whole grain cereals, dark leafy greens, berries, apples, and oranges. And try to limit your consumption of dairy and processed foods such as ice cream, sandwich meats, and fast food. These foods are not only bad for your overall health, but they can also cause the walls of your intestines to become inflamed, resulting in the formation and worsening of hemorrhoids. To prevent and manage hemorrhoids, a healthy, balanced diet needs to be maintained as part of a healthy lifestyle, and not as a short-term fad diet. If you're unsure of what diet is best for your individual needs, consult your healthcare professional. Tip 5. Avoid alcohol. 
Consuming too much alcohol can have many negative side effects on our bodies, one of these being constipation. When we consume alcohol, it signals to the hormones in our bodies to hold on to water, which causes us to pass urine more frequently. When we pass urine more frequently, we reduce the amount of water in our intestines, which causes our stools to become harder to pass, resulting in constipation. And remember, when we're constipated, the veins in our rectum become strained, which leads to the development of that pain in the bum, hemorrhoids. Consuming too much alcohol can also make it harder and slower for blood to pass through the liver. This means extra pileup of blood on the digestive system, including the rectum. In turn, this unwanted strain can cause swelling and inflammation, resulting in the development of hemorrhoids. So, to prevent and treat hemorrhoids, be sure to limit your consumption of alcohol as much as possible. And as a general rule, when consuming alcohol, always drink plenty of water to prevent your body from becoming dehydrated. Tip 6. Exercise regularly. Similar to drinking water, exercise has loads of positive benefits for your body. Not only does it lower your risk of developing constipation, but it also helps to improve the muscles in your lower rectum and reduce inflammation and swelling associated with hemorrhoids. Make sure you keep yourself active. Sitting for long periods of time can put unwanted pressure and strain on your rectum. Try to get up and move your body at least once every hour, and in addition, try to incorporate at least 30 minutes of light to moderate physical activity into your daily routine. Tip 7. If you gotta go, go. If you've been paying attention throughout this video, then you already know that constipation is a big risk factor for the development of hemorrhoids. One way to avoid constipation is to make sure you relieve your bowels when your body signals that it needs to go. Over time, resisting bowel movements can weaken the muscles and nerves in your rectum, which causes your brain to stop responding appropriately when you feel the urge to go. So, if you've got to go, go! It may also be helpful to establish a daily routine for your bowel movements, perhaps in the morning after breakfast when you're in the comfort of your own home. Having a routine will help keep your bowel movements regular, and regular bowel movements keeps your digestive system happy which in turn helps to prevent those pesky unwanted hemorrhoids. Tip 8. Seek medical advice for ongoing symptoms. Hemorrhoids are typically harmless and clear up on their own with proper self-care and lifestyle changes. However, if symptoms persist or if you experience ongoing bleeding or interferences with your daily life, seek advice from your doctor. If you experience pain, feeling a mass or extra pressure, bleeding, or if your stools change colour or consistency, seek medical attention immediately. These symptoms, alongside rectal bleeding, can occur in other diseases or conditions, including bowel cancer. So don't ignore any unusual symptoms or warning signs and seek treatment as soon as possible. So, there you have it. Eight tips to prevent and treat those unwanted hemorrhoids and make your trips to the bathroom much less painful. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, leave us a comment, and turn on that notification bell so we can stay in touch.